Hey everybody, it's Dave Brophy here at Boston Drum Center. Uh, today I'm playing a 1940s uh, World War II era Slingerland Rolling Bomber Kit. Uh, it's a very rare kit and this was made during the metal shortage um, during World War II where they were only allowed to use 10% metal parts. So as you can see, all the lugs and rims which would normally have been made out of metal are made out of rosewood for the lugs and maple for the hoops. And the snare throw is also made out of rosewood, which is pretty cool. They're a big, old, earthy sounding drum kit, so they're not, they're not good for everything, but they're good for some things. Um, this is a 28 by 14, 13 by 9, 14 by 12, which I have on a snare stand here, and a 7 by 14 snare. Um, Normally, the two toms clip on to the bass drum hoop, but this hoop has some cracks uh, developing in it, so I'm trying to take it easy on the hoop, so I just have them on snare stands right now. Um, the cymbals are 60s uh, new beats here, really early 60s, and then uh, a Zildjian 22 thin overhammered with two rivets, and a 22 bounce. These are brand new and uh, sounding really good. And yeah, this is uh, just a really vibey kit that I've used on a bunch of records and a bunch of live shows. And, and again, it's not for every situation, but man, when you find the right situation for it, it's a great kit. Some really cool things about it. Um, this snare is pretty genius, this throw mechanism, which is the same as a clamshell mechanism that you'd find on any old Slingerland or a super Gene Krupa super snare maybe, something like that. I forget what they call it. but. Um, the center position is off, still kind of rattly, but uh, forward is tight, and toward you is loose. So you can really quickly get different tones out of it, and uh, it's a very musical drum set in that you can play it different with different dynamics and get a lot of different... Uh, Nice woody tones out of it, and uh, yeah, it's just a cool kit. Oh, I actually found these on Craigslist. I'm kind of an avid Craigslist shopper, so a couple years back I found them um, in my old hometown and uh, called my sister Colleen, and she went out and picked them up for me. So uh, it was a, a lucky find. And uh, I had actually a lot of work done on them by Derek Cooper um, out in Ipswich, who owns uh, uh, the Drum Barn. And the originally, this tom and this tom had tacked on bottom heads. And uh, I found a guy out in Pennsylvania that was making replica rolling bomber lugs. So I had to make a set for this and a set for this. And uh, Derek did a great job of uh, removing the tacked on heads and, and putting some, uh, some replica lugs on this. Th these are all original lugs on the 14 and replica lugs on the 13. Um, if you look really closely, you can you can see that they're slightly different, but um, he did a great job, and they sound great, and the, the hoops are all original. I found a couple original Rolling Bomber hoops uh, online, so use those. And uh, yeah, I had a little bit of trouble with the bottom hoop on the snare, so I have a replacement on there right now, but um, uh, with a little bit more work, I'll be able to get the original to work, you know. So. They all have um, triple reinforcement rings, except for the snare. Uh, the reinforcement rings on these, I have some clear heads on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, but uh, they're incredibly thick, you know, from this old school construction. They're about two inch thick reinforcement rings on each end, and then there's about an inch thick in the center. So they're triple, triple reinforced. So there's no, uh, no shortage of wood in this kit, you know, a lot of uh, detailed craftsmanship, and these lugs are just absolutely beautiful. They're uh, they're so streamlined and so symmetrical. And um, if you look at the replicas, they're they're a little bulky. I think it's very difficult to replicate how how fine the woodwork was back in the day. You know, I think they still refer to these as radio kings, even though they're not one ply uh, maple shells. They, when I got them, they had uh, all the radio king uh, calfskin heads. The front bass drum head is still the original radio king calfskin. And uh, I still have the original calfskin heads, but they were they all had kind of tears in them and pretty bad rips. So I I would have liked to have kept them and used them, but they were just unusable, you know. 
So. That's about it.